So the Canadian International is next. This is a Group 1 race over a mile and a half. With Whiskey Duke at the top for Stu Gray, Born in Fanta for James Shane, Pale Blossom, Martin Lidham, Priscilla Assertive, Graham Clutter, what Gammy's Ficker, Darren Thompson, Pepperoni Jose, CDJ Liggett and Roaring Forties for Martin Lidham at the bottom. So seven then. Look here on Pepperoni Jose, see if it jumps out today. And away they go. And a pretty level break with Pale Blossom, the grey, was poking his head in the lead to start with, but now Born Infanta in the dark green jacket has gone off into the lead and looks like he wants to set a proper pace for a mile and a half race, and Born Infanta has gone off into a clear lead then by three or four already to Pale Blossom and Roaring Forties together with Gammy's Ficker, making a line of three to dispute second as they pass the winning post for the first time with Whiskey Duke, Priscilla Assertive and Pepperoni Jose making a line of three at the back so it's Born Infanta who's clearing the lead then by five doing two lines of three with the season just got one more week to go after this so you're not going to win out of your horse yet it's one more chance next week and Born Infanta is the leader and we're back for a quick fire season in February not as big a gap as normal he got the uh, Keep it going while the impetus is there and enth some enthusiasm is there. Get a new season started pretty much straight away. And a couple of months to get your stables lined up ready for next season. Maybe you can bring horses back a year older. And Born Infanta is the leader at this point as they pass the six furlong pole. With Roaring Forties in second, Gammy's Ficker is third, Pale Blossom is fourth, then Priscilla Assertive, Pepperoni Jose, and finally Whiskey Duke. So the leader has come right back to the back now, and Roaring Forties is the first one to throw down a bit of a challenge as they pass the five pole. But the leader, Born Infanta, is responding to the jockey's urgings and is now back into a three quarters of a length lead again. With Gammy's Ficker now looking a strong challenge around the outside, the grey Pale Blossom. Also coming through to cover that run, Pepperoni Jose is going to run himself into a cul-de-sac if he doesn't watch it. Priscilla Assertive trying to come round the outside. Can Graham Clutterbuck bring his form from Newcastle with him? Whiskey Duke, the one that's struggling out the back. But it's born in fans who's still in the lead from Gammy's Ficker, Roaring Forties, Pale Blossom. Pepperoni Jose looking for room on the outside. Priscilla Assertive is now making a bit of a forward move. Whiskey Duke still making ground but got work to do. It's born in fans and then coming down towards the final furlong and a half and born in fans are still in the lead but now they're queuing up behind Gammy's Ficker, Roaring Forties, Priscilla Assertive at the centre of the track, Pale Blossom is still there, the one that's got nowhere to go is Pepperoni Jose, but it's Born Infanta in the lead, Roaring Forties and Priscilla Assertive trying to close, Priscilla Assertive hits the front, here comes Roaring Forties on the in inside, but it's going to be Priscilla Assertive who takes it, and Priscilla Assertive another one, from Graham Clutterbuck who's having a day and a half today, is that his fifth or his sixth winner? He certainly took a good chunk of the all-weather finals. And he's having an absolute benefit day today. So Priscilla Assertive for Graham Clutterbuck wins it. Roaring Forties for Martin Lidham second. Born in Fanta, James Shea was third. Pale Blossom, Martin Lidham fourth. And Pepperoni Jose for CDJ Liggett was fifth.